The government has rolled out the livestock offtake program targeting 13 drought hit counties where livestock is brought to be slaughtered and later on be distributed to households facing hunger. The program being implemented by the Kenya Meat Commission and the Kenya Red Cross Society targets to benefit about 267,000 households. Details of this and others from our corporate scene. The prolonged drought has left over 4.1 million Kenyans in 23 arid and semi-arid counties in need of food aid and livestock hasn't been spared either. <laughs> Data from the National Drought Management Authority indicate heavy livestock losses across the 23 counties with assessments showing livestock losses of up to 70% in places such as Ilaret in Marsabit County. To mitigate the effects, the Kenya Meat Commission and the Kenya Red Cross Society have rolled out a livestock destocking program targeting 13 counties. Under the government-funded project, the Kenya Meat Commission is providing oversight of slaughtering the livestock. Then the meat is distributed by the Kenya Red Cross Society to households facing hunger. And L'Oreal Professional Paris has partnered with professional hairstylists in Kenya to officially release its newest range of natural hair care products in Kenya that target the youthful population, popularly referred to as Generation Z. Kenya, Nigeria and South Africa are listed among key markets for hair care markets with key market segments driving growth for hair care market on the continent. <laughs> Finally, Kenya is targeting group travelers as a strategy to increase tourist arrivals as the sector recovers from COVID-19 disruptions. As we kick off the evening, I ask that we continue in the same vein that we started yesterday. The vibe of being able to interact as women, being able to share ideas, being able to spar, be sparring partners for each other, bounce ideas off, his, off each other is actually what this evening is about. Long-lasting lifetime connections and networks such that we do have open communication and open networks to continue working together post this engagement. And I think this is a value, actually, of you coming to Africa on this retreat. Tourism Principal Secretary Zainab Hussein says group travel is today a big catalyst to tourism growth in terms of numbers and receipt, especially in the post-COVID era, and that the government would take full advantage of its pool travelers.